ओके हेलो सो फ्रॉम द थर्टीन इंटरनेशनल कांग्रेस ऑफ डायबिटीज इंडिया आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शेयर फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट थाट्स ऑन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग एरिया दैट इज द पॉलीफार्मेसी सो पॉलीफार्मेसी इज वेरी कॉमन इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ वर्ल्ड एंड वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अवर डायबिटिक पेशेंट इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू कंसिडर दैट डायबिटिक पेशेंट मे सफर फ्रॉम अदर कोमोरबिडिटीज सो ऑफन वी फेस पॉलीफार्मेसी in our diabetic individuals so to define polypharmacy it is important to understand from the two point of view number 1 the quantitative point of view and number 2 the qualitative point of view when we are talking about quantitative point of view it is the number which matters and in each prescription if there is five or more drugs then we call it as polypharmacy and when we are talking about qualitatively polypharmacy definition then it it is a little bit important to understand the risk benefit ratio of any given drug so here we often use one terminology which is called as potentially inappropriate prescribing so what is that if i am prescribing some drug that carries more risk than benefit that is potentially inappropriate for my patient so we need to be little bit careful while prescribing not only prescribing when we are getting prescription for other doctors that time when we are adding some new drug we need to be little bit more careful because there could be a possibility of duplication of the drug there could be a possibility of omission or rather a commission for particular drug so we need to be very careful on that issue and there is one terminology we often refer that is cprrf what is that clinical pharmacological reconciliation review and feedback so when we are getting patients with multiple drug it is our duty to follow the different principles of clinical pharmacology with that particular drug and according to that we may continue some drug we may deprescribe some drug to achieve the maximum benefit for the patient so i just want to share one real case which had also published in a very reputed journal that is japi that patient was suffering from ckd and suffering from pedal swelling and lots of other issues now one drug was prescribed which is actually causing these symptoms so without deprescribing that particular drug what we did we add some other drug which may give some symptomatically benefit for the patient but adding that particular drug causing some another side effect like in this case the patient was given a diuretic which leads to hyponatremia and ultimately leading to hospitalization so it is our duty to identify drug induced disorder early so that this vicious cycle of prescribing cascade can be prevented so my take on this issue is we need to follow the principle of this cprrf clinical pharmacological reconciliation review and feedback specifically when our patients are elderly when our patients are taking mul- multiple medications thank you